I have to get ready for bed first, so watch this. I started reading this book that arrived today called Models by Mark Manson, the author of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And when I opened it up, I was like, oh my gosh, why is the font so tiny? It's like footnotes on the bottom of a page of a book. But when I started reading this, I was like, oh my God, this is actually gold. Like he's talking about principles of non-neediness and vulnerability, things I've heard before, but he's phrasing them just in such an entertaining way with stories and also getting to the point about what's important in being a confident person, which is being a non-needy person. I'm only in chapter two right now in The Power of Vulnerability, but <laughs> in chapter one, there's a subsection about narcissists and I was like, oh my God, I didn't know the term for my friend Jake, whom I blocked recently if you've seen one of my latest videos, but Jake is a classic narcissist. And I was thinking, oh wow. <laughs> it so accurately describes him that I was just going like, check, 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 check. Wow, that's, that's Jake. Narcissism comes in many varieties, but usually boils down to this. Focusing on your own wants and desires to the point of imposing them onto others. Exaggerate your dominance and boast of your strength. Accept no wrongdoing. Admit no faults. Blame others for your problems. Go out of your way to make others feel smaller and that you appear bigger. When a narcissistic man is rejected, he becomes angry and hurt. He blames the woman for not seeing his greatness. He calls her stupid or selfish or shallow because she's not willing to give him what he wants. Jake always gets butt hurt when a girl rejects him, like he just doesn't take rejection well at all. He definitely admits no faults and he definitely blames others for his problems. He admits no wrongdoings, that's, that's spot on. He's been my friend since I was a baby because our parents were friends back then. And he's one of those friends where we could talk about absolutely anything on our minds. So there was, there was a good in that. And when I was manic back in 2018, he was actually trying to help me out over the phone, trying to be there for me and undo my mania as because he thought it was possible maybe with t conversation. Obviously it's not, you need medication. But yeah, there's a good reason why I blocked him recently and I probably should have done it a long time ago. And it's funny that this book is making me feel like I made the completely right decision. In addition to you commenters who said good riddance when, <laughs> when I said I blocked him. Anyways, the funny thing about this book is that all the tactical stuff about what to do to become a more attractive man, it's in the later part of the book. So I was fully intending to skip ahead and go straight to the what to do part. But reading the beginning, it was just so compelling and him telling stories and what's so important and why is it important, like non-neediness. It's actually a fun read and I just couldn't put it down. The only reason I put it down is because I have to make this video. Let me show you this page where I highlighted some of the stuff. Take a moment to consider that before meeting a woman, instead of worrying whether or not she will like you, you could wonder if you will like her. Instead of feeling the need to impress her, you could wonder if she impresses you. Instead of sitting there silently wondering what to say next to make her like you, you could sit there and silently wonder what she will say to make you like her. Instead of trying to come up with the perfect date, you could decide that a woman who really likes you doesn't need a perfect date. Instead of looking for a conversation she'll enjoy, you could talk about something that you enjoy and see if she takes interest. Instead of looking for her approval, you could decide whether or not to give yours. Instead of getting upset about why she doesn't want to be with you, you could decide that it means you probably wouldn't want to be with her. Looking for a person who meets your needs instead of trying to always meet theirs. Changing yourself to become who you want to be, not what you think women want you to be. That is what women want you to be. A man who wants to be who he wants to be. Only make time for he people who make time for you. Only be interested in dating people who are interested in dating you. Kind of obvious, but... Those are obvious points, but good points to make nonetheless. So I just got a taste of this book and it's it's a long book. I'm on, at page 38 and it's well over 200 pages. So I just wish it was like 300 pages and the text was longer, bigger. I mean, because this text is like, I'm reading, I need glasses for these. <laughs> Hopefully by tomorrow, I'll have read a whole bunch more of this book and share with you what I've learned. Also, my dad is leaving in a couple days, so probably should spend as much quality time with him as possible.
Tigger came for cuddles in the morning. <laughs> Tigger. I'm reading this book and look who came up on my lap. Tigger. <laughs> it's past 9 p.m. right now. I really got to start making my daily video, but I don't want to I don't want to get up and Tigger to leave. This is so nice. Tigger, I don't want to get up, but I have to. 1% better every day, baby.